Hello viewers. Hello viewers. Uh, welcome to the iRobot Automation YouTube channel. Uh, this video is recorded from the point of uh, PLC code challenge that is uh, from 20th October. That is, uh, it starts from 10:30 a.m. It is a uh, event organized by iRobot Automation and BGS Polytechnic Chikpalapur. So in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use multiple outputs uh, in WPL software. Okay. So let us uh, uh, discuss that. So let me open the WPL software. So how to install the software? There is another video. Is there? Please go through go through that. So let's open the WPL software. Now go to file, uh, new program, program name, you just type it, uh, uh, say for example, uh, multiple outputs and uh, PLC type should be SS2, then click on OK, uh, double click on the ladder logic window and uh, to maximize the screen I am closing all other uh, windows. Now, uh, say I will take one normally open contact x0 and in the comment you can uh, say for example start, I want to call this variable as a start, x0 is a first input, okay. Now by pressing start, uh, sometimes you will have one motor or two motors, okay. How to switch on uh, two motors at the same time by using only one command. Okay, it will be useful in many applications. Sometimes using one uh, input, I need to operate or I need to switch on many outputs and I may switch off many outputs. Okay, so F7 is a coil. So select F7 and then Y0 is a first output, say for example, motor 1, motor 1. Okay, but there is another motor that needs to be on when start button is operated. Okay, so in that case, you don't have to take the second line, uh, second uh, network. So in the same network, you can add another output uh, in parallel. So output cannot be used in series, output can be used in parallel. Say for example, there is another motor. So there is a command here that is draw vertical line and cursor move down. Uh, there is one option here. So click on the output here. You click on the point where you want to start. So there is a... Uh, draw vertical line and cursor move down see here that you have to draw first and then there is a uh, uh, horizontal line so first you have to take draw vertical line and cursor move down option okay and after that you have to draw horizontal line so that you can take in this in this place you can take one more output that is f7 again but it's a different address that is y1 and that you can name it as motor 2 see here there is only one input but there are two outputs okay so now first enable the simulation simulator and then download the option here download to plc okay yes uh, downloaded it but to see the output it should be in online mode so go to online mode it is control f4 but it, in, it is in stop mode it should be in run mode so go to then it's run mode activate run mode yes so now by operating x0 one time means so by operating x0 once see here both y0 is also on y1 is also on so multiple outputs you can use it parallel uh, by using uh, some commands in the that is a draw vertical line and move cursor down option is there and then horizontal line option is there so this is what this is how you can construct it so if you want to switch off then go to input and then set off i hope you understood how to construct it okay uh, otherwise you just repeat the procedure you will get it so this is what uh, uh, in this video so how to construct means how to use multiple outputs in single line single network of plc software uh, thank you everyone uh, if you like this video please subscribe to youtube channel thank you we'll see it in the next video